This is where some people kind of struggle with top knot shape and different hair textures and cowlicks. Um, she does have a rather large kind of cowlick in the middle of her head. She was shown for several years and she always had her hair pulled up in little rubber bands. So I think sometimes it makes interesting things happen up here. So there's a couple things we can do to kind of work around that. So you can see right now she's got this a lot of hair on the back of her neck. We're going to come to that in a minute. But um, I said we were done with the clipper. I lied again. We're not. Because I like to use this clipper to help set in the sides of my top knot. So I like to flip the ear over the head and kind of use the corner of this clipper to skim in that clipper line and catch any hair that's kind of falling over the clipper line. I'm not coming straight up and down. I'm leaning the clipper out this way just because I like really crisp, clean edges. And I like to kind of save myself a little bit of work. So just use the outside edge of the clipper, knock off some of that length on the outside of the top knot. Make sure your line's super clean. And then if you have any of this little rough stuff that the 7F didn't catch, you can use your clipper on like a 10 to help kind of just blend everything in while we're down here. Okay, now that we've done the sides a little bit, 